Hi everybody, today I wanna to share with you some tips on two digit multiplication. Now the first way I'm gonna show you is the traditional way that most students learn how to do two digit multiplication in the US, and it's the way that I learned too. So let's begin with 23 times 45. The first thing we want to do is multiply the 5 by the 3. So we're going to start on the right hand side and move towards the left. So 5 times 3 makes 15, but we only have one slot here to write down a number. We're going to write down the 1's number because we're working in the 1's category here. So we're going to write down the 5 and we're going to carry the 1 and put it up here, which is the 10's. Next, we're going to do 5 times 2, which is 10. And don't forget to add in that 1 that's up here, so that's going to make 11. Next, we want to go and move towards the left and do the next number, which is 4 times 3. But we're in the 10 spot here, so we want to add a placeholder in the 1 spot right here to make sure that we don't write an answer right here. So let's continue. 4 times 3 makes 12. Now remember, we only have space to write down one number. So we're going to write down the 2 and carry the 1. And we already have a 1 up here, but we don't want to confuse that with the beginning of our multiplication. So we're going to add another 1 right here, just to remember that we need to add that to the next step. 4 times 2 is 8. Let's not forget to add that 1, which is 9. And now we can add our answers together. So we're going to add straight down, making this 5, this 3, and this 10. So our answer is 1,035. Let's do another method. 23 times 45. What we're going to do is write a box. And we're going to divide up the box into four spots because we have four numbers here. So we have two at the top and two at the bottom. The next thing we want to do is divide those boxes in half using a diagonal line. Then we're going to start multiplying again from the right and then moving left. So 5 times 3 is 15. Now this is the tricky part, we gotta figure out which box we're gonna put that in. And we're gonna start at the very bottom box right here. So five times three makes 15. And this is the spot for the tens, and this is the spot for the ones. Then we're gonna do five times two, which makes 10. Then we're gonna come up here and do four times three, which makes 12 and four times eight, four times two, which makes eight. So we have two slots here. So we're gonna do our zero and our eight like this to remind ourselves that this is a placeholder. Next, we wanna add the numbers. And this is a little tricky because instead of adding straight down as we did in this example, now we need to add diagonally. So our first number here is five. Our next number here is three. Our next number here is 10. So we only have room to write one number down. So we're gonna write the one spot, which is the zero, and carry the tens up here, and that makes one right here. So now we need to write our answer, 1,035. So maybe it's about the same amount of time to do two-digit multiplication either way, but this way is a lot more fun, and I feel like you're less likely to make mistakes with all the extra ones that you need to carry. But this becomes especially helpful as you move into larger numbers. So let's try a three-digit multiplication. Let's do 300 or 231 times 453. Now we want to write enough boxes to hold all these numbers. So you're going to do a rather large rectangle. So you're going to need three lines, or rather three spaces, and you're going to need to then divide this up into three spaces this way. And next you want to do your diagonal lines. All right, so that's quite a few squares. Let's try to work this out and see if we can get the answer. Again, we're going to start at the bottom here. So three times one is three, and that's going to go in this area right here but you have two slots so don't forget that we're going to add our placeholder right here 
and then our one spot right here because the answer is only three. Then we're gonna come up here and get nine. Three times three is nine, so we're gonna come down here. Again, a placeholder and the number nine. And then over here, three times two is six, another placeholder and the number six. Let's move to the next row. Five times one is five, so we have a placeholder right here in the 10 spot. Five times three is 15, so we have a one and a five. And five times two is 10, so one and zero. Let's move to the top row. Four times one is four, another placeholder right here. Four times three is 12, and four times two is eight. Now we have to add this up, and again, we're gonna do it on the diagonal. So right here we have three, right here we have 14. Now we only can write one number down here. We're gonna write the four, which is in the one spot, and we're gonna carry that 10 over here and add it to this row right here which is actually going to be making the 100 spot when we get to our answer, but don't worry about that right now. So this makes 5, 10, 16. So we're gonna write the six here and carry the one up here, and that's gonna make four, and that's going to make 10. So again, we're gonna write the zero here and carry the one and then put the one right here. So this is 104,643. Let's check our answer. All right, time to check our answer. That's 231 times 453, and that equals 104,643. So let's try this same problem with the traditional way uh, we multiply, at least the way that I learned in school, and that is 231 times 453. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is multiply from the right to the left. So we start with three times one is three, three times three is nine, three times two is six. Remember to add your placeholder here because we're moving to the 10 spot. Five times one is five, five times three is 15. Let's carry the one up here, put the five right here, and then five times two is 10. Don't forget to add that one, and that becomes 11. We're gonna move on to the 100 spot, so don't forget to add two placeholders now. Four times one is four. Four times three is 12. Let's go ahead and add the one up here and put the two down here. And four times two is eight. Let's not forget that one right here. And write down nine. Now it's time to add up all of our answers. So we're gonna go straight down. So this is three, this is 14. Remember we only have one spot here, so we gotta carry the one up here. This makes 16, carry the one again. This makes four, and this makes 10. 104,643. So I've just shown you two different ways to multiply. If this one seems easier for your student, by all means, go ahead and do it. This one was a little bit complicated as I had already known this one, but once I learned how to do this one, it was a lot of fun and it really kept all my numbers in place and we really enjoyed doing this. All right, so let's move on to two digit multiplication with decimals and let's see if this system still works. Okay, so let's try 4.5 times 8.3. Let's go ahead and do the box. So we're going to need space for four boxes. So straight across, straight down. Let's add our diagonal like this. So this is just to prepare where we're gonna put the answers. So five times, or three times five makes 15. We're gonna put that answer down here. 3 times 4 makes 12. Then we're going to move up here. 8 times 5 makes 40. So our 10s go here and our 1s go here. And then 4 times, or rather 8 times 4 is 32. Now it's time to add up our answers. And remember, we're going to move in the diagonal way. So 5, 3, seven, three. So let's go ahead and write down our answer, three, seven, three, five. Now we need to figure out where to put our decimal. 
So in the top part here, we have one digit after the decimal, and here we have one digit after the decimal. So in our answer, we're going to need to put the decimal in a place where we have two digits following the decimal. So the answer is 37.35. Let's check our answer. 4.5 times 8.3 equals 37.35. Awesome. All right, so let's do this the quote-unquote traditional way that you might have learned in school. 4.5 times 8.3. We're going to start here. 3 times 5 is 15. We're going to carry the 1 up here and put the 5 in the 1 spot. 3 times 4 is 12. Don't forget to add in that 1 there, so that's going to be 3. We need to add a placeholder here because we're moving over to the 10 spot. 8 times 5 is 40. So now we got to add this 4 up here. We got to carry that 4 right here so that we can add the 0 down here. Then we have 8 times 4 makes 32. We have to remember to add in that 4, which makes 36. Now it's time to add up our answers going straight down in this case. So that is a 5, 3, 7, 3. And remember we have two digits total behind the decimal, so our answer also has to contain two digits behind the decimal. So our answer is 37, 35, and we already know that is the answer. All right, so let's do one that has a lot of zeros in it because that might be a little bit of a confusion. And let's do 38 times 10. Actually, let's add a couple more zeros. 380 times 100. Again, we're going to need to do our box here that contains three sections here and three sections here. Then we're going to add diagonal lines all the way through. And now we're going to begin. Now the bottom line, zero times all of these numbers is going to be zero. So we're just going to add zeros all the way down. Next, we're going to have 0 again, so all of these are 0. Then 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 8 is 8, and 1 times 3 is 3. Time to add up. 0 here, 0 here, 0 here, 8 here, 3 here. You don't have to write that 0, but it is a 0 right here. It's not going to affect the answer because our answer is 38,000. Okay, so let's try another example. Let's do 738 times 0.27. Let's start off by making our boxes here. And we're going to cut this in half here. We're going to do this in thirds. And then we want to add our diagonal lines all the way through. All right, so let's begin multiplying. 7 times 8 is 56. We're going to do this down here. 7 times 3 is 21. And 7 times 7 is 49. Let's move on to the 2 right here. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 3 is 6. Let's add our 0 as the placeholder and put our 6 right here. And 2 times 7 is 14. Now it's time to add up. Again, moving diagonally, we're going to have 6 right here. This makes 12, so we're going to add the 2 right here and put the 1 up here to carry it. 1, 1, 6 makes 8, 10, 19. The 9 goes here, we're going to carry the 1 up here. And this is going to make 9, and this is going to be 1. So then we're going to write our answers this way. So it's 1, 9, 9, 2, 6. And now we need to see where the decimal is going to go. So we have a total of two digits after the decimal. So we want to make sure that our answer contains a total of two digits after the decimal. So that's 199.26. So let's check our answer. We have 738 times 0.27 and that equals 199.26. Let's try another example. This time we're going to have three digits on the top 827 times one digit on the bottom. Let's do it times nine. 
All right, so let's set up our box again. It's gonna be a rectangle box this time, but only one slot. But we're gonna divide this up into three boxes. And again, we're gonna put our diagonal lines like this. All right, so let's begin. Se nine times seven is 63. Nine times two is 18. And nine times eight is 72. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add diagonally. And you can see here that there are numbers to add diagonally. So we're going to, we're going to have three right here. Six and eight makes 14. So we're going to do the four right here and carry the one up here. So one plus one plus two makes four. And then we have seven right here. So that's going to be 7,443. So let's go ahead and check our answer. And that's 827 times nine, and that equals 7,443. I hope you found those tips helpful for multiplying two digit and three digit numbers. If you've seen either of those techniques before, please let me know about it in the comment section below. If you want to see the complete playlist for our math and geometry unit studies, you can tap on the screen right now. And if you want to see what we're up to on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.